Hello, it's John from Double Sleeved here, and it's another standard meta deck breakdown. This video will see us break down a mono blue flash deck suggested in the comments by Apple THC. Let's get right into it. 1. Deck list 16 creatures, so quite creature light. 4 spectral sailors, 1 drop with flash flying and has the ability for 3 and a blue to draw a card. 4 brineborn cutthroats, 2 drops with flash and gets 1 1 counters every time you cast a spell on your opponent's turn. 4 brazen borrowers, an adventure card that has an instant for 2 that returns a non land permanent an opponent controls to the hand and a 3 drop flash flying 3 power 1 toughness creature that can't block. 4 C dash octopuses, 3 drop flash 2 2 that draws a card when it deals combat damage and can mutate for 2. We have 19 instants, 3 unsummons, a 1 mana return creature to owner's hand, 4 opts, a 1 mana scry 1 draw a card, 4 essence captures, 2 mana counter creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature you control, 3 quenches, 2 mana counter target spell unless controller pays 2, 2 mystical disputes, 3 mana counter target spell unless controller pays 3, but can cost 2 less if targeting a blue spell, and 3 sinister sabotages. 3 drops, counter target spell, surveil 1. The last non land card is 3 starlight mantles. A 2 mana aura with flash, enchant creature you control, it gains hexproof until the end of your turn and gets plus 1 plus 1. To round up the 60, we have 2 castle vantresses, comes into play tapped unless you control an island, and for 4 and tapping, scry 2. And 20 islands. 2. Win conditions. There aren't big game winning spells that we can play and win the game outright, however Brineborn Cutthroat is one of our staples to grow as we cast flash spells and in instants. It is feasible for us to have a 4 or 5 power Brineborn on turn 4. Being the only player sticking creatures to the board is our biggest win condition. By preventing our opponent's threats and playing our own when no spells present themselves for countering, we will have the only threats on the board not to mention some flyers for evasion. If our opponent hasn't scooped before we whittle down their life total, then our small army of sub-3 power creatures will peck away until victory is ours. 3. Key Cards Each of our cards, much like in all meta decks, has a key part to play. Our cheap counter spells like Mystical Dispute, Essence Capture and Quench will help us prevent early advantage from our opponent. Brazen Borrow is a 2 for 1 that is a surprisingly big threat in the air turn 3. Lastly, Sea Dasher Octopus. One of the reasons this deck really works, and arguably the only card out of Ikoria to help this deck. Its mutatability works well with a turn 1 Spectral Sailor, allowing a 2 power flying hit with card draw. 4. Play Direction As a tempo style deck, you're playing a careful mix of early threats and cheap control. With all of your creatures having flash, you can choose when to cast them, waiting until the coast is clear to ensure a clean cast and not leaving yourself open to a large threat from your opponent. Once a few of your threats have made their way onto the board, it gives you chance to deny your opponent any action with a plethora of control spells at your disposal. It's worth remembering that card draw is both vital and readily available in blue. With C Dash Octopus drawing when dealing damage to a player, Spectral Sailor having a 4 mana card draw ability, and Opt giving us a scry and card draw. After all, Running out of answers just makes this a deck a weak aggro deck. Finally, with all of your spells castable on your opponent's turn, it's key that you have your sequencing right. Knowing what deck your opponent is playing, their colours and rough spell percentages will aid in not wasting mana. Efficient use of every last island is essential and should be achieved on every turn. The lower cost counters can be less effective than a counter spell, but if used correctly, will have the same effect. 5. Sideboard in best of threes, you will rely heavily on your sideboard, as some matchups will require a different strategy to others. In our sideboard are two cunning night bonders. Some people may want this in the main deck. It offers a discount on all flash spells and prevents them from being countered, but it is difficult to say if its benefits outweigh its cost every time. So it'd better suit a mirror match or a longer game where the value can be found over several turns. Two Ashiok Dream Renders. Stopping library searches and exiling your opponent's graveyard makes this a clear counter for decks that use a lot of fetch style abilities on cards such as Whisper Squad and graveyard decks like Sacrifice or using escape mechanics. Two Graph Digger's Cages, another hard counter to sacrifice and recursion decks for one mana, and as an artifact, it's harder to remove. You'll be glad to see these in your sideboard when the time is right. Two more Mystical Disputes. Any deck playing blue will dread the casting of Mystical Dispute. Forcing a three mana increase to cast target spell, and against blue, 
it costs only 1 mana to cast. This is clearly to gain efficiency against any deck playing blue. 2 Disdainful Strokes If you're playing against a popular large spell deck, Karuga, Urian, Reclamation, you name it, this counters it. If the meta continues to favour these decks, then 2 may not be enough. 2 Cerulean Drakes Turns red deck wins into red deck loses. Protection from red is so powerful against Rakdos or mono red aggro, and it can be sacrificed to prevent a big damage spell hitting home if needs be. Situational, but powerful. Finally, 3 Aether Gusts. 2 mana spell that removes a card from play and forces your opponent to either draw it again next turn or leave it at the bottom of the library. Only against red and green, but 90% of decks use these colours now, so no doubt will be a boarded card for game 2. And there you have it. Now you can go and win another Mythic Tournament, knowing once again you owe all your expertise to this video. If you enjoyed this video then drop us a like and subscribe, it means a lot to us. I'll be releasing further deck breakdowns in the future, and if there's one you'd like to see next, then leave me a comment below. See you in the next one.